from a young girl with a thirst for knowledge to the first female and first African-American to be named CEO of the Aerospace Corporation, Dr. Wanda Austin's life story so far is one of learning and leading. Her journey from the Bronx to the business section, from student to CEO, is full of twists and turns, and she's firmly planted historic markers along the way to help direct those to come. Dr. Austin earned a Bachelor of Arts degree in Mathematics from Franklin and Marshall College, Masters of Science degrees in both Mathematics and Systems Engineering from the University of Pittsburgh, and a PhD in Systems Engineering from the University of Southern California. Since joining the Aerospace Corporation in 1979, Dr. Austin's technical and management experience and her remarkable leadership skills have earned her positions of increasing responsibility and challenges. In 1996, she was Aerospace's first female general manager in a technical organization. At that time, she was also the youngest person ever promoted to that position. In 2001, Dr. Austin was the first African-American employee to be promoted to senior vice president in the corporation's 41-year history. Widely respected for her work in satellite and payload system acquisition, systems engineering, and system simulation, Dr. Austin has led the National Systems Group of the Aerospace Corporation for the past three years. As senior vice president, she leads the support of the national security, space, and intelligence community in the acquisition, launch, and orbital operation of advanced technology space systems and their ground data stations. Best, brightest, youngest, first, all describe Dr. Austin's career of superlatives. Throughout my career, from college on, I've been one of firsts first woman, the first African-American uh, to do many things. Uh, it was not typical for a young girl growing up in my environment to be thinking about becoming an engineer. As a result, I always found myself in a situation where I was unique and I got used to it. But it's always a challenge to be a first because you don't have role models that you can go and talk to about things and say, gee, I don't understand or can you help me you know, figure out what I need to do. But it's a wonderful challenge because you find people who are supportive and who are encouraging and that's what I'd like to do for others, um, to really be an enabler for people who have it in their heart or who are motivated and really want to learn or to reach for new goals, reach for the stars if you will. Uh, and I get a tremendous charge out of being able to be part of their dream and be part of their success. Among her long list of awards and honors, the most prestigious evidence of Dr. Austin's success are the Air Force Scroll of Achievement, the National Reconnaissance Office Gold Medal, the Air Force Space and Missile Systems Center's Martin Luther King Spirit of the Dream Award, and the Women in Aerospace Outstanding Achievement Award. Strength, courage, and confidence that accompany ideas and knowledge have enabled Dr. Austin to overcome obstacles and challenges. The advice I'd give to any young woman um, any young engineer going forward is that if you have something con to contribute, have c courage and have you know stick to your convictions so that your voice can be heard. Um, you have the credentials, you've worked hard, you've earned the right to sit at the table. You need to find a way to communicate your ideas to folks so they see the value in them, so they see more than just you they see the value of your ideas and what you can bring and what you can contribute. That's been my approach when I run into people who, for whatever reason, um, challenge you know, why I'm there. Uh, I really let my work speak for me, and it can speak volumes. While it wasn't easy to juggle the demands of building a stellar career and creating a nurturing home life, Dr. Austin and her husband Wade have two sons and find strength and renewal in family. On January 1, 2008, Dr. Austin will take the helm of the Aerospace Corporation, headquartered in El Segundo, California, to lead nearly 4,000 employees who assist the United States government and its contractors in the conception, design, acquisition, and operation of space systems. Dr. Austin was selected to lead the Aerospace Corporation after an extensive nationwide search. The Board of Trustees unanimously selected Dr. Austin as the best candidate for leading the Aerospace Corporation into the future. Since its inception in 1960, the Aerospace Corporation has played a critical role in virtually every national security launch and satellite program. 
as the corporation drives to surpass its own world record of more than 50 successful consecutive operational launches, Dr. Austin will guide the dedicated men and women of aerospace as they write the next chapters in space history.